Hi guys, my name is Fauzi Ardini. I'm from Universitas Professor Dr. Hamka. In this video, I will presentation about the grammar translation method, the natural approach, and the direct method and Berlitz method. The grammar translation method. He studied the grammar translation method in the early 1500s. Latin was the most widely studied foreign language due to its importance in government, academic, and business at the time. Students learned Latin for communication. However, during the course of the century, the use of Latin widow and it was gradually replaced by English, French, and Italian. After the deadline of Latin, the purpose of learning it in school changed. Whereas previously students had learned Latin for the purpose of communication, Latin came to be learned as a purely academic subject. The use of origins language wanted simply to not think of their interest in the literature of foreign language. Moreover, this method focused on reading and writing. As a result, speaking and listening are overlooked. When modern language began to appear in school curricula in the middle 19th century, teachers taught them with the same method as was used for classical Latin and Greek. The method, then was known as grammar translation method, that have, therefore, is can be said that GTM is origins from the classical or traditional method used for teaching Latin and Greek. Classes are usually conducted in the student native language. Students learn grammar rules by root. Students practice the rules by doing grammar theories and translating sentences to and from the target language. More attention is paid to the form, form that content of the sentence translated. There is not usually any listening or speaking practice. There is very little attention or pronunciation or any communicative aspect of the language. The method of grammar translation method. The skill exercise is reading in the context of translation the typical approach, approach in the classroom is to present the rules of a particular grammar item. Illustrated is used by including the item several times in a text, and students practice using the item talk, writing sentence, and translating it into the mother talk. Text is accompanied by a vocabulary list consisting of new lexical items used in the text together with the mother talk translation. The textbook is the pillar. Primary emphasis is on development of reading and translation skill. Little attention is generally given to teaching, speaking, or listening. Lessons are heavily sends to it around the textbooks and follow its content quite closely. Teacher's rule is to explain the materials in the chapter and to correct students' trans translation. GTM was criticized by linguists or teachers, science, and climate that language taught to be learned by actual speaking and listening to them rather than merely studying about them. GTM was criticized for not producing students who were cap capable of speaking for each language will not to communicate with others. The second is the natural approach. The natural approach was developed by Tracy Terrell and Stephen Pressure it is based on the language acquisition theory developed by Crashing. The native language should not be used in the classroom. A lot of vocabulary should be exposed. The student a lot of activities should be developed. 
the natural approach is a method for beginners based on observation and interpretation on how a person acquires his or her first language. It rejects the formal organization of language. It is not based on grammar. It is based on communication. It emphasizes calm, principle, and meaningful practice. Activities rather than production of grammatical fact. Sentence this method appears in 1983 in book called The Natural Approach, written by Tracy Tucker and Stephen Kressel. The natural approach works based on the use of language in communicative situations without recourse to the native language and without re reference to grammatical analysis. The natural approach is based on the principle of naturalistic language learning. The central component of language is not grammar, it is communication. Association, unique Asian language is viewed as the feelings for communicating meanings, message, communication, the lexicon for both perception and production is considered as critical in the construction of message. Production is considered as critical in the construction of message crossing language acquisition theory the natural approach is based on crash and language acquisition theory principle tenets of this theory are the following the acquisition running hypothesis there are two distinct ways of developing competence in second language acquisition and running acquisition is the a constitution project that involves the naturalistic development of language proficiency don't understand and using language for meaningful communication. The monitor hypothesis constitution running and confection only as the monitor that checks and repairs to output their four equations. Grammatical structure are acquired before other for each tense of the present tense is acquired before of the past tense. The input hypothesis sleep or real language best by understanding input that in slightly beyond their so current level of competence. The effective filter hypothesis the emotional state and the attitude are an adjustable filter that freely passes or blocks input necessary to acquisition of the student needs motivation self condition and low action we're going to give for recommendation for the english class first there should be a lot of compressible input second whatever help conversation is important visual aids are useful as in export to a wide range of vocabulary rather than study of synthetic structures. Three, this, the focus in the classroom should be on listening and reading, speaking should be allowed to emerge. Fourth, in the order to lower the effective filter unit worksheet center on meaningful communication rather than on varied input should be interesting so contribute to a relaxed classroom atmosphere. The natural approach was developed by Tracy Turner and Stephen Carson. It is based on the language acquisition. They were developed by crashing the native language. Should not be used in the classroom. A lot of vocabulary should be exposed to the student. A lot of active of activities should be developed. We can develop activities with the total physical response method. The total physical response method is based on action. The natural approach is the method for beginners based on observation and interpretation on how a person acquires his or her first language. The last is the direct method and parallel method. The direct method also referred to as the natural method starts with French sounds, going and voice pickup 
by Berlitz and Sofer in the 9th century. It became very well known in the United States. Trout is used by Sofer and Maximilian Berlitz's successful commercial language course. Berlitz, in fact, never, never used the term. He reverenced to the method used in his schools as a valid method. The main goal for a teacher is that student will learn to communicate in the target language. Principle and procedure. Number one is classroom instruction was conducted is exclusively in the target language. Number two, only everyday vocabulary and sentence were taught. Number three, oral communication skill were built up in a carefully graded box, received or organized around question and answer exchange between teacher and student in small intensive classes. Number four, grammar was taught in the in the people. Number five, new teaching points were introduced orally. Number six, concentrate vocabulary was taught by association of ideas. Number seven, both speech, both speech and listening comprehension were taught. Number eight, correct pronunciation and grammar were emphasized. Vocabulary is always emphasized over grammar, but all language skills such as reading, writing, speaking, listening, and pronunciation are worked on. The teaching techniques really mostly on reading aloud, question and answer exercise, self correction, conversation practice, fill in the blank exercise. Dictation and paragraph writing. Teach the second or for each language in the same way as one learns one's mother talk. The language is talked through demonstration and conversation in context. The more academical proponents of the reform movement critics criticize. The direct method of pre uh, uh, represented products of English that amateurism. It was largely dependent on the teacher's skills rather than textbooks, and not all teachers were proficient enough in the po in the foreign language to add it to the principal to the principle of the method. Thank you for watching my video and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh